So Lori, meet Baba. <laughs> Baba, meet Lori. Go look at Baba. Is it cool? It makes you nervous? <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I am excited today because it's the last day of this very long journey. Tonight, I'm actually gonna be able to sleep in my own bed. It's been amazing, but it's gonna be great to be home for a little bit. Let's get this day started. Awesome, what do you guys say? I'm actually gonna head over to Scott Smith's All Animal Show. It's about 45 minutes away from the reptile show that I'm attending right now. I'm gonna go check that out just really quick. Then I'm gonna head back to the Tinley Park Reptile Show and spend the day here just having a great time but yesterday I introduced you to my new special pet Bella right there and what's amazing is of course she's in a hotel room so we had a little warm spot with a heat pad set up over here and uh, she just didn't want to stay on it last night she literally slept with me the entire night <laughs> And at one point I actually put her, took her up, put her over here on the heat pad and she climbed back over here and climbed right under my pillow, under my head. She is amazing. Good morning, girl. How are you? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't be more happy. Regardless, I'm gonna get on the road. I got about a 45 minute drive. What do you say we get this day started? So I finally made it to the Scott Smith All Animal Show. Uh, he's gonna have some really cool stuff here, some birds of prey, some other cute and cuddly. So I figured I'd come check this out before I head back to the reptile show. You know, I'm always interested about you guys. So go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite animals are. He's a short spine Peruvian mongoose. So again, the main reason I came here is, you know, I'm always showing you guys reptiles. I love reptiles, but there's a bunch of really cool mammals that are gonna be here today. This is a Mongolian bush tiger. So look at these cute little goats. Oh my God, they're the cutest thing ever. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Are those things cute or what? Look at the little goats. <laughs> They're so awesome. How are you guys? Oh, oh. <laughs> this one's try that one's trying to suck my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell you what. I just I think I want a goat now. Here's another one of those cool mammals. This is actually a Coda Monday. Look at a Coda Monday. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. <laughs> Last time I was here at this show, I actually showed a female Suriname red tail boa that was absolutely gorgeous named Moya. And this actually is a boy that bred her this year. And so hopefully they're gonna have babies from this beautiful pairing. And guess what? They said that they're gonna let me have a little baby female if it produces babies. So I'm super excited, but look at how awesome that tail is. I tell you what, I'm just fingers crossed they have babies because these things are gorgeous. Look at how cute this is. Remember when I was down in Florida and had that little baby kinkajou? It was only like four weeks old. Well, this happens to be how big they're gonna get. This is a 22 year old kinkajou. And again, you know, kinkajous are just such amazing, cuddly animals. They're so adorable. But you know, again, they're not pets for everybody. You know, I mean, they do take a lot of work. And, and I always try to tell people when you're gonna get something really exotic like a kinkajou, you gotta really understand what you're getting into. This isn't a dog or a cat. And a lot of bad information is out there about kinkajous. But I tell you what, they are, just look at how adorable that animal is. And it's so soft and cuddly. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And 22 years old, I mean, this one's getting up there. They typically only live about the mid 20s. So the fact that he's still around is pretty awesome. Oh, it's just so cute. And the smell is really neat too. So where are you at, buddy? Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love kinkajous, they're so awesome. Guys, I am actually in a cage with this little cute guy. His name is Elmo. He's actually an Arctic fox. Look at how gorgeous it is. Unfortunately, this Arctic fox was born with some defect. And it's got a little bit of a short face and it's blind, unfortunately. But it's still a really gorgeous animal. <laughs> it's just, you know, trying to make its way around, not knowing what's going on here. But uh, I tell you, look at how gorgeous it is. And it's the softest little thing in the world. So again, I just love coming to these kind of shows. I always show you guys reptiles and other snakes and stuff. So I thought, let's show you guys some cool magic. 
mammals, you know? And uh, what's cooler than... Where's he at? Come here, little Arctic fox. Hey, bud. <laughs> I tell you what, foxes are so cool. And I feel kind of bad for this poor little guy, you know? Again, without being able to see, he's kind of trying to figure out what's going on, but he's super cool. Hey, bud. It's okay, bud. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Don't be silly. He's trying to nip me a little bit. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> How cute is that? This show is not as big and crazy as Tinley Park, but there's still a ton of people. It's amazing to me that this show goes on a couple times a month and still there's so many people that show up. So it's really cool. And again, because it's on the same weekend as Tinley and only 45 minutes apart, a lot of the vendors that typically come to this show are actually over at the Tinley show. So there's not quite as many animals as usual, but there's still some really cool stuff here. And seeing those mammals, that was awesome. Regardless, it's about time for me to get out of here. I'm going to stop and pick up one surprise and then I'm heading back to the Tinley Reptile Show. And that surprise is I'm getting another pet. I tell you what, you know, I think that as time goes on, I'm getting more pets than I'm getting breeders anymore. My buddy over here that works with horn frogs came over and he said, I could actually get a little baby horn frog. Check this little guy out. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Look at how cute it is. Isn't that thing cute as could be? Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. This is so awesome, man. I mean, this is, take a look at that. Is that thing the coolest thing ever? So again, these guys, this is just a little baby. It's going to get like the size of a dinner plate almost. So uh, it's, a, it's a garbage disposal and it's going to be really cool. Take a look at this one here. Wow, look at that. That's one of the albinos that has just a little bit of size. And these guys will eat like monsters, so it's going to be cool. This one's going to get spoiled like you can't believe. And uh, can't wait to show Lori. I wonder what she's going to think. That was a super cool show. Again, it's just something different. I figured, you know, I'm not going to wake up today and do the exact same thing that I did yesterday by going to Tinley. Uh, I figured I'd see something different and bring you guys along so I could show you some awesome animals that we didn't see yesterday. Regardless, I am back to the Tinley Park Reptile Show now to meet up with Lori and the crew, go have some fun, and I'll show you guys a few animals, including we'll head back and spend a little time with Bubba the alligator that I showed you guys a tease of yesterday. So, uh, off to Tinley, be there in about 20 minutes. I tell you what, Bella has been an absolute hit here. I mean, it's, it's, people love her, right? Oh my God. I tell you what, I, I, am, I am literally in love with this lizard. I cannot tell you how much I love this animal. And again, it's just so cool because when people come up, they, they love to interact with her. It's the perfect animal to kind of introduce people, so it really works out well. Me and Lori, speaking about interacting, Lori has never met the alligator Bubba, so we're gonna go take a look and see if we can introduce Bubba to Lori. So Lori, meet Bubba. <laughs> Bubba, meet Lori. <laughs> Come down here, get over with Bubba. <laughs> take a look at Bubba. Is it, it cool? It makes you nervous? It does. Oh my gosh, Bubba is just the most amazing animal. I mean, this, this <laughs> it's just kind of crazy to think that an alligator that's that size can just be so tame. And, and I've seen Jim interact with this animal so much. It's, it's shocking the relationship that he has with him. But uh, get a little closer, Lori. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss no, on the head. Give him a kiss on his head. Give him a kiss on the head. I don't know what her problem is. Bubba's beautiful. He needs a kiss. Look at that beautiful. Isn't he cool? He is cool. And that little band is laughable because they ain't gonna stop nothing. <laughs> yeah, and just for the record, guys, that that band, it, it's it's def, it's there, you know, because there's some regulation, but certainly uh, it's not holding his mouth, it's not hurting him, it's completely, it just needs to be that way. I've been around Bubba a lot without a band prior to the regulation, and this animal will never try to snap or anything. I mean, it, it is truly like a pet alligator. I mean, this is, this is the perfect alligator. And I've also seen, I've literally seen Jim tell Bubba to go up the stairs, and he will climb up the stairs and climb into his van. Literally, this alligator right here 
will climb up the stairs and climb into the van because you can't pick it up. It's, too, it's hundreds of pounds. What do you think, Chris, when our day gets this big, good? No, I don't know. You've got some figuring out to do. <laughs> <laughs> but he is pretty cool. It's a very cool animal. I think I'm going to show Andrea too because she's never seen Bubba either. So I uh, gotta gotta check it out and see if she likes him. Isn't that thing cool? Is that the coolest alligator? Well, don't tell RJ I said that, but uh, he's pretty darn awesome. All right, Andrea, we are about to see a cool alligator. Can you believe that? I've never seen an alligator like this in person. It's huge. It's awesome, and it's super tame, so we're about to go, go check this thing out. I'm All right, so what do you think, Andrea? He's awesome. I know, isn't that crazy? I mean, you can get close. I mean, don't be shy. Isn't it just the coolest thing in the world? Very. So you want RJ to get this big, right? I, I wish he was right now. That'd be awesome. <laughs> We just got our workout cut out to keep him this tame. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? So I'm over here at GetHookLLC.com and uh, they have some really cool innovative snake hooks. I mean, when you're a guy like me, you've got to be all about what's coolest to, to work with. But take a look at some of these things. Number one, they've got like team sports stuff. They of course have the DC comic stuff, like uh, cool, cool grips. But it's not just about the looks, it's about the functionality of them. And, uh, and, and they're really cool. Like this one's got an ergonomic grip to it and it feels really cool. And uh, of course they're extremely light. The one thing that I thought was really cool and Andrew is kind of just looking at some of all these hooks here, is this thing here is really wicked. It's not a hook and you know, you guys have seen us feed. Like when we're feeding, we'll oftentimes use a hook to open a drawer up. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, the hooks aren't exactly the best because again, see how they've got that little bevel on them? Sometimes they slip off the lip, which is not that big of a deal, but it's still just a pain in the butt when you're feeding a ton of animals. So this is actually made just for opening and then pushing to shut the cage as well. So that is absolutely awesome. So we're gonna get a couple of these and kind of give them a try out and we'll make sure to come back and give you guys a review on them. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be pretty excited about them. You can check all their stuff out at GetHookLLC.com. So how awesome is that? We end up getting some cool new snake hooks for the shop. We get this new tool that Andrea can open and shut cages and not get killed with the snakes. So uh, it's always a bonus when you're at places. And that's the thing. Guys, people are so awesome at these shows. It's just really, uh, it's inspiring to come to a place like this and, and just meet people that really share your equal passion for something like reptiles. So uh, it's been an amazing weekend. And we only have about an hour left and the show's gonna shut down. Then we gotta pack up and we gotta drive home. But we're only about four hours home. I can't wait to get home to see my animals and of course be back home with my dogs and my son and all that good stuff. So it's uh, it's definitely been the almost end of a very long road trip. All right, so the reptile show just ended. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy day to be honest with you. So we just have to tear all this stuff down, get it packed up and then drive home. All right, so we are packed up and ready to roll. Tinley Park Reptile Show in the can. We have about a four, four and a half hour drive home and I can finally see my bed. I am so excited. Just got back to the shop. I dropped Lori off at home so she can get some sleep. The only bad news to that is that I have to unload the van 100% by myself which will be okay, but I do have a big iguana cage in there, so that should be pretty challenging. But I am so excited to finally be home, back at my shop, and after I get things unloaded, I'll head home and get some sleep and actually start tomorrow. We're in town for the next five or six, maybe even seven days, so I'll get a chance. Oh wait, we do have one trip that I'm gonna be making to a place called Josh's Frogs, which is gonna be really cool. It's a cool frog place, so I'll bring you guys along on that. Other than that, I'm pretty much in town for the next week or so, and then I head out to New York City, which will be really fun. But regardless, it'll be great to be back home. So tomorrow, I'll make sure to kind of just walk around with you guys and get you an update on all the new and cool stuff. And of course, with Bella getting settled in. So it's gonna be really fun. But for now, I've gotta unload all this stuff by myself. Okay. I got, look at this mess over here. I got all this unloaded, but the hardest part is really coming right now because somehow I really want to unload when it's a big cage and I've got to do it by myself. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to work on it right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> success. Oh my gosh, this place. Look at this place. <laughs> we can't even walk in this office. Tomorrow morning is going to be a crap show, but it's going to get figured out. So I just have to organize a little bit. I want to get this cage in back so it's warm. And I want to put Bella in it so she has a place to go for the night. And then we'll fix it all up tomorrow. Regardless, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for joining us. And hopefully you enjoyed this last week or so adventures. Plenty more ahead, I can promise you that. But for now, I'm going to shut it down, go home, and get some much needed rest in my own bed it's gonna be awesome do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell so you know when i upload videos make sure to be kind to somebody i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow